I usually lose about four pounds, which I think it's a lot for people. Do you lose? Do you lose four pounds a night? How much do you lose? Rich? Usually a couple. A couple. Yeah. Because I was two one point eight last night before I went to bed. I woke up at one ninety seven point six. Wow. Nice. You know. Most people don't. I don't think. I'm not sure, but not a lot of people lose like four or five pounds a night. You know? But. And that's why I hate the most is because you never know. Right. Could, you're like, oh, I need to lose four pounds tonight. And then you wake up and you lost two pounds. You know, it's like, oh, what am I going to do now to be ready? You know? <laughs> I think, well, I keep saying this all the time, is the fact that the more you compete, the better it is. So you still, I'm still a bit nervous. Not now. I think I'll be nervous maybe an hour before I take the match. You know, do my match. But... But the more you do, the more you're able to control. I remember my very first competition, my very first match. I mean, I was so nervous the whole day. Um, I think I, my energy was like so high that I was so tired at the end. I think I couldn't do my second match. But now I learned through um, competition to relax, you know, don't think about it, you know, and be ready for the match. Ready to go home? Ready. Are uh, you ready? Yep. Yeah, me too. It's a long week, isn't it? Been here all week? Long week. Just watching everybody. Uh, long week, ready to go home. Yeah, especially when it's, you know, it's not you competing and you're just waiting for you to compete. And that's, you know, like I said, I love being here all week. I just don't like to be the last one because it's like the anxiety of waiting and seeing everybody competing. And it's like, okay, you're hoping your team is doing well. And then it's like, okay, I have to do well. Everybody's doing well. And it's like, okay, can that match comes already? You know, you just want to be done with it. So I, I just hate the entire anxiety. What about you? Would you rather be at the beginning or the end of, of the tournament? I think I'd rather be at the beginning. At the beginning? At the beginning because it's done. The pressure is over. You can actually enjoy yourself. I don't think the entire week can enjoy myself. Because the whole time I'm checking my weight, I'm like I'm check, check, checking my food, you know. Right. And I'm trying to think my game the whole time. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? That's what I did last night. So, what should I do the first my first match? I'm going to try this. I play my game, try to do this. But the entire week, you, I can't can't really enjoy Vegas. You know, it's right. like. Yeah. You guys last night, oh, let's go to the buffet. Let's go and eat everything we want. It's like, okay. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I'm checking my weight. So. Yeah. But tonight, I'm going to eat no matter what. <laughs> um, we came in on Tuesday night. And the problem is our plane got delayed like, for two hours. So we got here at on Vegas time, which is 2 o'clock in the morning. Right? And... Who was with uh, you? Uh, Philippe uh, and Peter uh, was with me. And then on Tuesday, we didn't, Tuesday here, we didn't do much. We just relaxed. But Wednesday, Philippe, my professor, was actually competing. So, and then Thursday, and Peter, Peter was on, uh, on Wednesday too. Leo, Farmiga, and on Friday, Richard, you know, and people from uh, Mike's school. Uh, That's EGA, it. Dave. Dave. And today, there's more people from my school, like uh, Ricky and me. So it's an entire week waiting for me to actually compete. It's a long time. It's a it's, real mental game, huh? It is. And especially when you look at other people competing, it's like, oh, okay, this guy's good. He's really, really good. And you're trying to look at techniques that people are using. It's like, oh, he's using my technique. Or should I try this? You know, Or when I get back home, I'm going to try to... You know, when I saw Richard trying to do the, the butterfly sweep and the, the over over the head and Farmiga, it's like, I need to learn that. I want to, you know, it's not my game, but I want to, I, I want to learn it. So it's, it's really a mental game. You, you really want to, um, you know, you, you want to do well. The whole time is you don't want to disappoint your team. But one of the good thing is in the team I'm in, I know they, they don't care if we come out home with a medal or not. So 
in one way there's no pressure but in one way I'm putting myself that pressure you know we all want to do well so we'll see we'll see what happened today but it's been a long week and I'm ready to go home Two ibuprofen just to make sure my muscles are good. I think I pulled my uh, my trap like two weeks ago and I pulled it again last week. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't get pulled during the competition. Now I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You wanna come with me? But that stops right here. Sorry. I'll see ya. Hey Mark, are you ready? Let's go, let's go. Of making it or not making it? The odds of making one of the two. One of the two. Yes. Yeah. So it'll be 25 for the first power. And they look like brothers. Doesn't that make sense to you rationally? Yeah. No, 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 no. Think about this. Think about this. Why don't you want it different ways that the outcome can go? Leonardo Correa, Austrália, ASBJJ. Master 2, male, purple, medium, heavy. Leonardo Correa, Austrália, ASBJJ. Oleg Vasilev, Vasilev, Oleg Vasil, Vasilev, Alan Orocho from American Top Team, Alan Orocho from American Top Team, please make yourself known to us. Can I please have Master 4, male, purple, medium, heavy? One more! 
Good job, Mark. I'm feeling really good. I, you know, I got second place. You know, there's always the next level, which is trying to get gold. That's the goal, actually. But you can't go home without having some nice food, especially all week when you've been checking your friends going to the buffet all the time. So now I'm at the buffet, eating all the meat I can, get my 10 pounds back that I lost with a nice cold beer. And I'll see you next year.